Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Monday, July 31st, and today's video is for entertainment only. We're going to continue going through crypto and artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence will be at the end of the video. Looking at the market on CryptoBubbles.com, red day for crypto. We have, I'm not familiar with PLS, Pulse Chain is down 30.8%, Curve down 13.8%. Compound down 8.7, Ave down 11.9, Frax down 9.6, Pepe down 4.9, Synthetics down 6.6, some of the bigger green bubbles, Optimism up 4.8, Caspa up 4.7, XDC up 4.1, Uniswap up 2.6. Looking at market cap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, well, Bitcoin and Ethereum are, are down less than 1%. Um, Doge is down 1.9, Cardano's down 1.1, XRP's down 2%. So red day for crypto. Looking at Bitcoin, it continues in this bull flag formation in this downtrending channel. It's currently just under the midpoint, but in this little bit of an uptrending pattern right here within the channel from here to here, you can see a little bit of an uptrend. I put that in green so we can see it a little better. And so, you know, it's just inching up a little bit. It's currently at 29,291, but still could go either way. If we get a uh, successful completion of this bull flag, then we could get up around 33,700 to 35,400, depending on where you draw the bull from, from this point or this point. We do have still this uptrending uh, support line that's hitting right at about the Fibonacci golden pocket for the Fibonacci uh, from this swing low to this swing high. That's right around 27,500. So still could go e either way for Bitcoin. Looking at the Bitcoin box chart, in the last day of the month, we wanted to look at the MACD, whether we're still getting a cross in the MACD, which we are. And so it looks like we are going to get that cross in the MACD. So looking at the monthly, right now we're sitting towards, uh, you know, the top of the body anyway for Bitcoin. It, 30,330, according to uh, uh, tradingview.com, looking at the monthly. I'm um, still in between having two and having three fractals, above having two high, low having three low. And uh, so, still right in where we should be, still well above this uptrending support line that, if we maintain, will put us up around 55 to 60,000 for Bitcoin at the halving, which is expected sometime around April 27, 2024. In news related to crypto on CryptoPotato.com, the number of Bitcoin addresses holding even the lowest denomination of crypto currency has climbed to an all-time high of almost 48 million. One factor behind the gradual increase in recent times could be the rising interest in Bitcoin ordinals with inscriptions recently surpassing the milestone of 20 million. Further news on CryptoNewsFlash.com, the Republic, Republic of Palu joins forces with Ripple for pilot of U.S. dollar-backed stablecoin on XRP Ledger. The partnership between Ripple Labs and the Republic of Palu to launch Palu stablecoin, PSC, backed by the U.S. dollar, has reportedly entered the Phase 1 pilot. Last article on youtoday.com, Cuban, Mark Cuban, challenges Gensler, Gary Gensler, on crypto rules. Cuban took to Twitter, questioning Gensler's con uh, consistent cater categorization, categoriz categorization of token holders as investors, a term he implies may not be applicable across the board. The entrepreneur hi highlighted the nuanced nature of crypto and their potential for decentralized governance a factor that the current regulatory environment may overlook. The billionaire entrepreneur also touched on the topic of declining investments in the crypto market over the past year. He suggested this decline might indicate that many tokens are no longer being actively supported or promoted and therefore may not meet the Howey test criteria to be classified as investment contracts. His comments can at a potential regulatory oversight that could stifle innovation, and negatively, negatively impact the crypto ecosystem. So we're going to continue looking at AI stocks, ETFs. In this case, we're going to be looking at tokens, AI tokens and um, um, AI and also bots, um, 
Telegram bots in the crypto verse. And so today we're going to be looking at render. Yesterday we looked at Veo, uh, or last week, last Friday, we looked at Veo and render is up from the having three post peak low to the present somewhere right around 307%, well above Bitcoin, which is up about 78% in that same time frame. So looking at render, render is, uh, if you go to CoinGecko and you search on a category, uh, artificial intelligence, render holds the top spot for market cap at 654 million roughly in market cap. So looking at render, it's been in this uptrending channel channel. This is a weekly chart on tradingview.com. And in this uptrending channel, we are down near the bottom of the channel, right at the 200 day simple moving average for render. And of course we've covered render and it's been in our buy list for portfolio for well over a year at this point. So looking at render on renderfoundation.com, render is advancing the next generation of rendering and AI technology. We are not for profit dedicated to maintaining the core render network protocol and growing its community. So you can learn more about render on renderfoundation.com. And so looking at some of the top telegram bot coins, and again, just going up and searching on categories and then going to telegram bots. We looked at Unibot uh, Friday. Today, we're going to be looking at MEV free. So MEV free. Um, ME free is currently right around 18 cents. It's had a nice run up, uh, from the all time low 5,511%. It's currently had a bit of a retracement from up here around, oh, 20 cents, almost got to 21 cents. And right now at 17.8 cents. So MEV, you can learn more about MEV free on mevfree.com and MEV V free is a suite of tools that protects holders and allows them to extract the maximum value on every single trade in the dark forest. And so this is a telegram trading bot. So looking now at stocks, uh, we looked at, uh, AI C3 AI. We looked at Nvidia today. We're going to be looking at duo. And so duo technologies is, uh, they, uh, have machine vision and AI to analyze fast moving objects. Been in an uptrend. Well, since back in December of 2022, looking at this weekly chart on tradingview.com for Duos Technologies, and it's right at about the midpoint. So it's up quite a bit. Looking at going back here, Duos Technologies is up 219% year to date. NVIDIA is up 219 as well, almost 220. Or C3 dot AI took the number one spot at 273% up. And so, uh, looking, you can learn more about, uh, duos technologies at duos technologies.com. Uh, looking quickly, their advanced technology company that specializes in machine vision and artificial intelligence to analyze fast moving objects. And so you can look more at this AI technology on duos technologies.com looking at it. ETFs related to AI today, we're going to be looking at LRNZ. LRNZ is up 55.7%. Of course, Bitcoin over the years up closer to 74%. And so LRNZ is true shares technology, AI and deep learning ETF. It's been in an uptrend as well. Um, since back at the beginning of the year, currently up near the top of the uptrend, it's up uh, 2.1% to, uh, this week. This is a weekly chart on tradingview.com. And so true shares, true shares is, uh, one of the top ETFs, at least that we have on this list right now, it's considerable, considerably above the NASDAQ, which is around 43% at 55.7% year to date. And so you can learn more about true shares on true hyphen shares.com. And uh, looking at why to invest in LRNZ, according to the, their website, True Shares Technology AI and Deep Learning ETF seeks to provide thematic exposure to a concentrated portfolio of technology companies that are significantly involved in the application of advanced levels of artificial intelligence within their businesses. And so, looking at stocks, going to their website, uh, this website, and looking at 
their holdings. We're uh, looking NVIDIA as their top holding, well, cash and other as their uh, top holding at 10.51%. But then NVIDIA, and then a lot of these I don't know. I know Snowflake, of course, AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. I've heard of Datadog, CrowdStrike, Mobileye, no Unity Software, ZS Scalar, uh, no Z Scalar, ServiceNow, of course, know them, Roblox. So some of these we're, we're going to have to go in and take a look at Twilio, familiar with Twilio and UiPath, but this is their holdings, according to their website, of tech, AI, and deep learning companies, stocks. So thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.